In this video, I'll teach you four nifty tricks for setting task dependencies in Microsoft Project. You know, everybody loves tricks on how to use Microsoft Project. So in this video, I'll show you four powerful methods for setting task dependencies in your Microsoft Project schedules. So let's get started. Let me show you the first trick. Select the tasks you want to link and then click the Link the Selected Tasks button. If that isn't the dependency relationship you want, which is Finish to Start, double-click anywhere on the link line between the two linked tasks. In the Task Dependency dialog, you can change the type to any of the four available. You can also add lag time. Well, what I need is Finish to Start plus two days of lag. And there we go. There's the first trick. For my second trick, I've dragged the split bar over to the right edge of the predecessor's column. And I've selected the predecessor's cell for task number 12, call moving services for quotes. Did you know that you can actually type the dependency information you want into the predecessor cell for any task? For example, what I want is the predecessor to be task number three, but with a start to start dependency. So I type three, S is in Sam, S is in Sam. And when I press the Enter key, there, it sets a start to start dependency between those two tasks. That's my second trick on setting task dependencies. For my third dependency planning trick, I'll start off by right-clicking anywhere in the white part of the Gantt chart screen and choosing Show Split on the shortcut menu. This displays the default task entry view. Then I'll right-click again in the Task Form pane and choose the set of details known as Predecessors and Successors. Then I'll start off by selecting task ID number five, review draft. The predecessor for this task is number four. So let's scroll up, select number four. Its successor is number six. So let's select number six and I'll click OK. If you do not specify a type value or lag value, for either the predecessor or the successor, Microsoft Project will automatically set the dependency as finish to start with zero days of lag. This is cool enough that I think I need to show you this again. This time I'll select task number 15, remove boxes to storage. Its predecessor will be number 14, so let's select that but the dependency will be start to start with two days of lag time. And its successor will be number 16. Office Packup complete. And the dependency will be finish to start with no lag. When I click the OK button, look at that. There's the third trick for dependency planning. For my final dependency planning trick, please notice that I've selected task number 57, Construction Complete. What I'm going to do is click in the predecessor's cell. What I need to do is to link this milestone to the four other milestones that are all part of the construction section of the project. Here's how I can do this simultaneously. I'll click the pick list arrow button in the predecessor cell, where I now see a menu of all of the tasks in the project. So here's what I can do. I can select number 35, carpentry complete, 
Number 43, electrical complete. Number 49, plumbing complete. And number 56, telecommunications complete. When I click anywhere outside the menu, Microsoft Project automatically lists those four milestones as predecessors to this task. But wait, there's more. I want to show you one final trick that will reveal that this milestone does indeed have those four predecessors. So here's what I'll do. I'll right mouse click anywhere in the Gantt chart screen on the right. I'll choose Show Split. That gives me the task form pane. And look, in the task form pane, there are the four predecessors selected just the way I showed you. So there's four tricks for you on dependency planning. Did you learn something new about Microsoft Project in this video? If you did, please give the video a like and please share it with your friends and colleagues. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notifications button. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.